Yeah, intertwine. It's certainly a very... Um, so, like, a lot of... A lot of transhumanist thought is about transcending the flesh. So you either replace your body with machine parts, or maybe you um, upload your mind into the infosphere as an artificial intelligence of some kind. But this brings an interesting dimension in which this high level of technology is still synthesized in that very uh, terrestrial naturalistic environment. Like, it feels like even though these are robotic creatures, there's a lot of signals I'm seeing where they're still integrated in the general ecology of the world. You know, I mean, I, I see them, like, grazing. I don't know if maybe they have byproducts that work into uh, fertilizing grass or, like, composting or whatever stuff like that. But, like, my, my, my general vibe and my interpretation from what I can see so far, and in fact, this has been hundreds of years with these robotic creatures in the world, They've, they've etched out a niche to where this technology can live, but it is with nature. And that's not a lot of, that's not a common thing you see in, in transhumanist, far futurist sort of thought lines. Usually it is a, a future only, where a forward progression where everything becomes silicone everything becomes digital um it is a a very much an abandonment of of this of nature and i think it is very interesting how this is not following that despite having such futuristic elements um i need to run now i need to escape oh fuck oh shit oh shit um 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 um... Ah, uh, shit! Yep, yep, yep. Spent too long specul- Spent too long- Too much thinking! Too much thinking, not enough getting the fuck out of there. Alright. Um... Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, do we still have that quest? There we go. All right. Okay. So even though there's like quick saves, it's still kind of weird how it still auto saves in between quick saves. I'm not, I'm not knocking it because it certainly saved my bacon from uh, losing progress because I'm dumb. But uh, it feels kind of weird. Hey, don't hurt my minion like that. Ow. Ow. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Concern. Concern. Ah. Uh. Yep. 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 
Yep, got scrambled. Another signal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that that. Yeah, that harmonious, harmonious oh, uh, working Sona together Orgy. between technology and nature. I want to pick up her trail. Yeah, usually, usually when you have these these futuristic settings, the the technology is taking the place of nature and providing all these all these advancements, and it sort of places the natural order as below itself. Um, but yeah, yeah, I feel like this is. Yeah, you know, a lot of this I feel is just kind of general vibes speculation just from what's come up, and maybe I'm reading pretty far into things considering how far I am into the game. But you know, half half the fun is is speculating and seeing how much you can, how close you can get, and how far off you are. I mean, as far as evil machines, like until we got to these, uh, that corruptor that came across, they didn't feel, they didn't feel evil. They felt naturalistic. So like the, um, the deer, the deer animals that we've seen grazing, if we got up to them and spooked them, they would, they would stampede off. And that's just like any other um, any other natural quote-unquote creature. They would they would get spooked. They would run off. Oh, that's a lot of... Oh god, that's a lot of empty spaces. Transcript. Jeff and Ratus show 417 I assume 2062 part 4. Alright, um, this is part four. I kind of want to get the other ones before I even read into it, so I'm going to leave that as is. Um, that completely derailed my train of thought. Uh, what was I saying? What was I talking about? Because I feel like I've been talking about like three or four different things in the past few minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like they've been acting like, they've been acting like any other normal wild animal, even if they have this synthetic mechanical flesh. And I, that is really interesting because they're not acting, they're not acting quote unquote robotic. They're not acting weird. They're acting like just any other animal within the the ecology of the world. Um, and I think that's really neat. I'm hoping, like, the further we get into the game, we learn more about this. Because, you know, we see, we have, I would say, the deer. I called them robots. We have the spotters. I don't know, general, how, where they would feel, fit. We have the sawtooths, which are like, I've, I've called them the, the saber tooth bobcats. Um, I'm wondering if we get into, because uh, I've play, I played a lot of Monster Hunter, if there's larger robots that are, are predators that are feeding on the other robots to complete the sort of chain of ecology of robots as they fit in the, the natural life cycle. And I'm also still curious if we're going to learn about how the more robots are made. Because um, we, you know, I mean, we can just like gloss over the robot procreation, but I don't know. The, the, the concepts given to me in this game really make me want to drill down and think like how exactly the little minutia of how it's been existing these past few decades, centuries, etc., etc. Et 
clear that up later. Yeah, even if even if it's like uh, uh, nano machine factory, I feel like nano machine factory would be like the very bare basics. Um, if the game goes so far as to like fully show on, yeah, like the robots like machine together and 3D print progeny, that would be on the higher end of, okay, y'all put a lot of thought into the environment. I'm gonna give y'all, I'm gonna give y'all all the kudos if they go, if they go that far into, um, how things be. Because it's, it's super easy to just introduce introduce interesting elements in your game but the extra mile is fully thinking through the implications of your world building um, i feel the former is good game or world design but the latter is the kind of stuff that gets you awards like if that makes any sense What you got for me, Nil? This guy, honestly, this guy kind of makes me think of a samurai. <laughs> Never mind his aesthetics. I'm glad you came. You're glad. Why? Call it a shared interest. And call me Nil. Look there, those old rocks. A bandit clan squats under them. Disturb the rocks, and they'll come wriggling out. Worms that they are. Bandits. Why have they come here? The Nora are in trouble. The rumors spread like blood. With no braves to guard the border, killers hungry for sport slip right through. My partner and I shadowed these scum for days. Good tracker, but he went on ahead without me. We talked about this kind of behavior. Still, I understand. Leave it too long, your fingers itch for the bowstring. Say, how about you and I work together? Kill them all. I feel like something about the voice acting and the facial expressions, they just feel, they feel a little bit stilted. Stilted is the only thing I, I, I can think of to describe it. Like, he talks about his, his comrade stalking these people. And then when he pivots to saying, like, suggesting us help him hunt them, I kind of expect... A little bit more of a, of a, you know, me and my brother, we were hunting these guys, and you know, he kind of went off. But uh, hey, you're here. Why don't why don't we, you know, continue on and and kill this bandit camp? You know, I I, I feel I feel there's a level of of tonality that's kind of missing in this. And may maybe I'm just I'm just thinking way too know bloody you. much. And I have no reason to trust you. Trust is a rare egg to find, isn't it? I'm just like, traveler. The art is with a bow, absolutely fantastic. Lands and a missing part. I don't think you're just anything at all. Hmm. Let me put it another way. Are you a bandit? <laughs> of course not. Then you have nothing to fear. All right. Someone has to stop them from hurting others. And we will. We'll stop them from doing anything. Safe screen a while. Go ahead and take the lead. I look forward to seeing what you're capable of. Yeah, the eyes. That's the alarm. Let them sound it in more. I feel like the eyes it's would make more sense. If it was first person, and if you're because like I expect, if I was, master, there's the captives. If I was in first person, 
and looking at someone, their eyes are kind of going to dart around my face or around my face or things like that. But because I'm in third, because it's in third person and I'm like thinking of it from that expectation, their, their, their eyes looking all around does feel a little bit off. Everything's sharp and moving, huh? I will say, as far as, because I believe this was originally only a console game. Um, for a console game ported to the PC, it is very good so far. Um, they know the controls the haven't there. been extremely difficult. Um, they feel very intuitive and not overly problematic they make sense um and i want to i want to highlight that because I've, I've certainly played a couple i've played a few um from soft games um like dark souls um two i believe it was um that were not very good pc ports that were very hostile to um Binding and controls, so it, it, it really stands out for a good PC port of a console-only game. Um, I don't know if the distributor or the dev has other PC experience, but uh, I think I think they did a pretty bang-up job. How do I use my item? Hold on. What? Cycle tools. F. Ah. It's killing time. Let me loot. Oh, there's someone nearby. Now there's no longer anybody nearby. Chug a potion, take a potion. Ayo hey, Lameo. Slug shine glass. Hmm. Over here. You got nothing better to do. I will say for a thing presenting itself about like the robots in natural world, like fighting other humans doesn't feel as You're giving up impactful. Like like from this game so far, I would have expected my first time killing another human to have been a big cutscene kind of thing. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of all I had to say. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I paused to just say that, but yeah. <laughs> Feels a little, a bit, feels a little bit more um, tacked on uh, compared to the weight I would expect um, as far as taking a person's life.
Where do I got? Um... Slow. I kind of wish it didn't give me um, gotcha. icons of people out of line of sight. Just because it feels like I could kind of game the system a little bit on that. So that's a that's a very small nitpick kind of thing though. Loot the supplies. Hey yo, hey yo. Free money, free money. We take that. We take that. And breathe again. Ancient Devris. All right, we got stuff. Not over till it's over. Boom! Headshot. I'm not sure if it's a uncommon occurrence because there was talk about a clan, uh, 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 sun worshiping sort of clan, who believed if they sacrificed humans, they would be able to um, control or curtail the aggressiveness of the machine. Because apparently the machines have been getting more and more aggressive as years pass. Seeker, um, may I so speak with you? That clan seemed to have um, waged a war to get sacrifices among the other clans. So they they, they captured some Nora people, some Seeker, of. Um, would you lower yourself to speak with me? I can't remember the other clan we've learned of, but like capturing people to sacrifice, which obviously did did absolutely nothing. So. Like, human-on-human human conflict is not foreign, Please. May I speak but, like, you? um, Alloy has been outcast. She's been sort of lonery, raised by just her father. It's not like she was in an environment to ease killing other people, if that makes sense. Um, her father certainly taught her how to hunt uh, robots and how to how to survive and make her own weapons and things like that. But, um, and I mean, this is, this is just like being very super, super nitpicky on just like psychology kind of thing of taking like another human life. Like, it doesn't feel like there was as much weight put onto it as there could have been um yeah yeah it just it just kind of feels like we, we were just like all right i guess we're good i guess we're gonna kill other people yeah yeah it's something it's something she's never done before and it's not highlighted as something um developmentally significant Holy shit! Holy shit! Ray! Ray! How? How are you doing, bro? How are you doing? You know, if you have not seen Ray, Ray is an amazing, amazing artist. 
they are stuck inside their containment zone. So if you ever check them out, make sure you shove some french fries through their air holes. And if that, you know, I know a bunch of y'all just raided on over, but if you see that little follow button pop up, make sure you smash that because uh, Ray is a gem, an absolute, absolute treasure. He is a cool person and deserves all the french fries in their air holes as can be shoved. How has your day been, Ray, and all of y'all who have raided on over? Um, yeah, I, I should, I should, I should feel, I should do something somewhat professional. Hi. Hello. I am Drecky Wormer. I am a worm. A worm on the internet. I, I cannot fly. I am a ground dragon. Um, even though I have rainbow plumage, I am not Quetzalcoatl. I can't fly. I'm more related Jormungandr. I can do this, though. Yes, I can do that. <laughs> um. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you for making room in the ziggurat. Um, generic NPC and Box Vox and Ikari and Joe Zombie. Yes, yes, plenty of room in my in my ziggurat for all you glorious persons. I no, 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 I I am not related to Quetzalcoatl at all. You know any you know any creature in the forest or jungle tends to have rainbow plumage. You know, it's a, uh, um, what do they call it? Uh, Covergent evolution. You know, it's, it's just, it's just what happens. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's just what happens. But, um, yeah, my, I've been, uh, I picked up, I picked up this game, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I saw it was on, on Steam sale. I've heard good things about it. I believe it was a console game. So, um, I thought I'd check it out. So far, um, pretty interesting. Um, Hold it inside you one last all I know about it is there's robot dinosaurs. <sighs> Have not seen much dinosaurs, per se, I hardly feel but there's definitely robots. Already getting cocky when we carved through the last bandit camp. I thought you and I were agreed. Only enjoy the killing as much as the challenge. No great loss. Nothing in the wilds I can't handle, just me and the voice of our teeth here. Your bow has a name? Yours doesn't. We're done here. Alright, this guy's weird. I'm afraid so. But we live in a world of ruins, and bandits are drawn to them like infection to a wound. You wouldn't let that infection set in, would you? I'm sure we'll meet again. Maybe. If it can't be helped. If we pass each other by, we'll know it by them. Yeah, no problem, Ray. Uh, 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 I dropped it. I dropped it. I had, I balanced it for a while. Well, yeah, definitely, definitely, uh, get you, get you some noms, bruv. Leave a piss, get hydration. And, uh, I mean, if you come back, let me know what you nommed on. I certainly love, I love food, and I love cooking. Alright, um, quests. That was a side quest we just knocked out. Vantage? Vantage point? Alright, now, now this is hella, this is hella Assassin's Creed. Is this gonna expand our map? I gotta check this out. Um, if any of y'all have played Horizon Zero Dawn, um, I would appreciate, uh, no, no, no spoilers, no help, just, uh, point and laugh as I fumble way my way through. Um, I like coming into these things Party pretty friend. blind. No help. Um, I feel, I feel like that's more fun that way. Is this like 
Inside the hill? How is that a vantage point? I don't understand. I wonder if Vantage is like... Not what I meant to do. Um, something with... Um, like the, the 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 hidden hidden stuff like uh the underground research place like i originally found my dorito where am i all right i'm outside the aoe so let's cut back in Oh, this is, this is going to drive me absolutely nuts if I can't get to this. If this is, if this is like progress gated, I'm going to lose my shit. Come on, give me, give me, give me a, come on game. Come on, you can't, you can't, you can't dangle something like this in front of me and then just like do nothing with it. There like a uh, uh, hole in the hill I need to go through. Hmm. 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 Never know when I might need these. Come on. Okay, okay. I uh I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna uh, I don't wanna spin my wheels forever on shenanigans. Oh samosas na 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 God there is there is a a There is a uh, Cuban place nearby. I say nearby. They do deliver. Okay, I'm within delivery difference of them, of Cuban. And they have Seeker. some... May I speak with you? So, oh god, they're samosas. And they're, they're yucca fries. Oh my god. I want to I wanna make them at home. Oh, god, the yucca fries with a garlic dip. Oh my god. Seeker. Oh Would you man! Would yourself to speak with me? I'm honored. I, all mother be praised. Are you all right? Is there something you need? Yes. My friends and I watched you clear the bandits out of this camp. We're glad. It's a. Uh, it's my. It's my guilty. Folks. It's my Chase guilty pleasure. The night laughing. We're outcasts, not braves. Almost defenseless. The, uh, the, the meal, meal to price ratio, not so great, but, uh, God, they taste so, they taste like sin. It's so good. Where did you all come from? Some of us have wandered the sacred lands for years. As for me, the village I grew up in was burned in the Red Raids. I'm ashamed I wasn't there to protect them, but I was an outcast long before the Karja came. How did you all come to be here together? You wonder how we speak to each other when the law forbids it. But what hope do we have here, outside the embrace, alone? I wasn't judging you. I was an outcast once. Forgive me. You're right to ask. 30 minutes I ago I was an outcast. To speak. <laughs> I told them we were only sentenced to be outcast, not to 
die out here. An intelligent approach. How did you come to be an outcast? I was a fool. I refused to do what I was told. Never went hunting when I could sit under a tree instead. I argued with my family every step, picked fights with other braves. One day, such a fight grew fierce. I got a lucky hit, an unlucky one. He went down, and there was no one left to speak for me. I deserve to be an outcast. You seem different from the person you yeah. describe. I hope to be. Yeah, yeah, it was so so long ago, like, you know, uh four 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 hours ago or something. Probably her we time. No outcasts, but we need to stay together to survive. Not only not only this just uh, we once hated could becoming a brave, well but becoming a uh, uh, seeker. Here, even if it flies in the face of the matriarch's laws. Of course, by all means. Oh. I'd hoped you'd say so. You you're an inspiration to us. Thank you. Dude, all I did was kill kill a bandit camp. Like, sure, you can stay. I don't care. Don't go around killing people. Easy. Yeah, you can have the place. I will say another thing that I've really been whoops. Scroll wheel does not zoom in. One thing I've really been liking, not just like the the scenery, like the mountains and the forest. And it's like a little thing, but like the hairstyles are also so cool. Like that is not a simple hairstyle to do the the little braid around the ears, the little braids down the back with like the messy top and all like God, it's just so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, even the wispy. Like, I know I've been trying to go for like a because uh, I'm I'm an absolute bloody sucker for for uh, cyberpunk and those kind of aesthetics. Um, oh, oh, Glottal's here too. Bloody hell. Um, uh, what was my train of thought? Aesthetics, hair, yeah. I, I'm a sucker for, like, the cyberpunk hairstyle kind of stuff, like the punk mohawk, um, undercut, sideswept kind of stuff. I've kind of been trying to do that with mixed, mixed Some results. Receiving another signal. Um, I would say uh, it's certainly been mixed results because my barber, when I, cause I, I grew my hair out for, like, two almost three years like no haircuts just straight up like maybe i think i went in to get like the dead ends cut off a couple times but like i just let my hair grow out um and then it was like to my like getting past my um shoulder blades or something i'm like all right this is this is way too much hair i need to i need to cut this I'm like i wanna i wanna i wanna try for that I want to try that undercut. I want to try that like punk greaser hairstyles because I like I like the I like the I like the undercut. I like the I like the huge Japanese pompadour. I want I wanted to just kind of try out some stuff, but um, but <laughs> my uh, the barber I happened to get to. Um, Save these for the he wasn't uh, he wasn't really listening to me when I was talking to him. So when I said I wanted an undercut, he, um, and I said the undercut on the sides, he was like, all right, okay. And, um, he made the undercut all around of like a, uh, a, a one or a zero, like, any, like as short as it can be without taking a razor to it all the way around, except for the top, very top of my head. So, uh, like, two to three years of hair just gone like that. And, um, all I had was the top of my hair. And I've kind of, 
I've been making it work. I've been quietly seething, quietly molding. <laughs> I've been making do with my lot. <laughs> Oh, uh, but, um, I do, I do want to try, I do want to try, like, and, and it's weird, because, like, I'm not super up on hairstyles, um, it's just, I'm just not good at it. So it's like, I don't want to shell out a bunch of money for hyper-specific products, that will only work if I want to do like a pompadour every day. Or a a, a mohawk every every day. Uh, so it's like finding that middle ground that's within my budget that I can do. That's been kinda hard. I'm out of ammo! Ow! Ow! Oh boy! Alright, we got him! We got him, boys! Oh no, oh, oh no, I'm so sorry, Ray. I'm, I don't know, I feel like I'm, I'm numb to bad haircuts because growing up, um, I had just, like, my, 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 my hair genetics are very weird. Um, I've had, like, very dark, almost black, uh, they were, br they were brown, but, like, almost black eyebrows. But just the blondest hair, like almost bleach white blonde growing up. And it's also super fine. So like every tiny haircut um, was visible. So I just, I just kind of grew up being numb to just mistakes from haircuts. Um, just kind of hashtag dealing with it. Um, what the fuck? Yo, is that like, I need to get up there. um, what the fuck? It's like, like the circular head makes me think of that one, like that, that airplane, the, uh, what is it? Like, a um, it's like a reconnaissance airplane because it has like this huge disc sticking above it. That plus giraffe times 10. Holy fuck. Um, what was it saying? Oh, hair. But yeah, it's 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 gotten better now that my hair has darkened into a uh, 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 brown, but it's still pretty pretty thin. So I kind of it's been kind of weird trying to deal with uh, making it like volume, like getting 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 that kind of aspect to my hairstyle. 